everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls, and this is our daily angelic message for February 29th, 2024. Now today we have peace. The number here is 13. With angel numbers, we would take the three and the one, just like numerology, and reduce it to four. Because it's peace and it's Archangel Osriel, we're talking about something needs to change. Something needs to change here. And this could be needless struggle in every area of your life. Or it could be going over and over and over something in your mind that just keeps bringing you pain. It could also be trying to change somebody who you know is never going to change. There are big realizations happening here. Now, again, this is saying be at peace with transformation. Your guardian angels are guiding you. That's the four. They're trying to help you through this. They're trying to show you something through your interactions. So if you let's say have a bad day. I had a, I wouldn't say a bad day. I had a weird day yesterday. Almost got hit twice. <laughs> no, three times, excuse me, three times. Uh, and then one person who almost hit me in my car, um, got mad at me and zoomed out and almost hit me again. It was, it was a whole thing. And then proceeded to, um, try to make something of it. You know what I mean? It was one of those days. So what was so interesting about that situation was it made me realize how people can get into a mode and just be in their own little world. This was a situation that someone else all, almost caused an accident. And I'm assuming this other person thought it was me and it wasn't. They apparently didn't see this other driver. So anyway, point is, is that things are not always what they seem. This person obviously had a day themselves probably and wanted to take it out on someone. And there we go. So I'm using that as an example because it was so easy just to observe how quickly someone can just think they have the whole story and be <laughs> reacting to the story they think is in play when that story is not in play. You feel me? So take that information and observe your day. You know, where where are you jumping to conclusions? Um, they're talking about, they're coming in here and saying about self-preservation. This is keeping people from transforming as well. And this is something that's keeping humanity from transforming. So, you know, it's this idea of I have to be right. If you're, if you disagree with me, then you're my enemy. I'm going to cancel you. I'm going to do everything I can to just ruin everything for you. That's one example. Uh, if you've ever had a conversation with someone, let's say you are finally saying something out loud that's really hard to say. You're finally getting to speak up and say what you've been through or, you know, how you feel about something. And someone acts like they don't even hear you and go back to themselves and start talking about something super shallow that doesn't even matter that they keep repeating over and over and over again. This is that kind of thing where it's like when that stuff happens to you, observe it, learn from it, and learn that you can't change people, okay, and that they don't get to have your energy. There's a lot going on here. It goes very, very deep. If you want to get a personal reading, go to angelsouls444.com. Some of you now are waiting uh, like three days for your readings. Um, I'm getting to those today, unless something happens with the internet or something like that. You can please keep that in mind, but I should be getting those out to you guys today. So what does that mean for the rest of you? It means I'm pretty caught up on standard readings. So if you want to get in, it should be just a few day turnaround at this point, um, yeah, I may take the weekend off, but just keep in mind, you'll get it, you know, well ahead of the schedule time if you get in fast. If you wait and then try to refer back to this video and say, but you said it was only a few days. Well, you waited four days to get in. Now there are people ahead of you. So please keep that in mind. Okay. When you're first seeing this doesn't mean that that's when this went up. Okay. So just bear that in mind. Anyway, back to the card here. The card says, release the past. There is a more enriching future coming. Let go and let God. This might be something from the past that you have to go back into to heal it because you have been avoiding it, because you've gotten into this mode of, I don't ever want to look at that again. I want to preserve my energy. It's situation by situation. That's why, you know, personal readings are so helpful. That way, you know, you don't just take this, you know, general message and try to apply it to all the nuances of your experience, right? It's not going to translate the same for every situation but there could be something coming back around that maybe you don't want to face but you have to face and the angels are here to help you go through that because it's time to release it mostly the emotions around it the bad 
uh, feelings around it. And I'm also thinking of one other example. If you ever, ever watch uh, Golden Girls, uh, Sophia and her sister had not spoken. I think it's supposed to be for like 30 years or something. And uh, they really <laughs> held a grudge. And then they finally come together because Dorothy says, you guys have to talk. And it ended up being over something that was a complete misunderstanding. That, the whole argument and the reason why they weren't speaking was over a misunderstanding. So that's the kind of energy that's going on here. But we really need to be mindful of where we are being, you know, self-righteous, self-centered, self-indulgent, self-indulgent. Now, I want to put a little shout out to all of you who have been through horrific things. And you're finally getting the strength to come out and speak about it or to set boundaries when you've got a lot of people around you who don't want you to set boundaries um, to secure your place in this world when other people say hey you shouldn't be here I have more of a right to be in this line or I have more of a right to be ahead of you on the road or whatever the case may be okay um, if, if you're the one who is out there trying to speak up that's not being self-indulgent that's not what we're talking about Self-indulgent, self-centered, you know, narcissistic, sociopathic, whatever the thing, whatever the case may be for you. This would be more of the thing of you just, as I said before, you just spoke up and they have to redirect the conversation back to them. Uh, also keep note of disapproving silence. That's also very, um, one, passive aggressive. But uh, to me, in my experience, it's a sign of covert narcissism. And that's when... Maybe you state your opinion and everyone just gets quiet. Maybe they're side-eyeing each other. That's not okay. <laughs> that is not okay. It's designed to make you feel belittled. It's designed to make you feel unheard. It's judgmental. Just make a note because you need to transform through this stuff. And if you're around a lot of people who tend to do that, or especially if you're around people who you hear them gossiping about other people constantly, they're gossiping about you too. You have some choices to make here. Now, on the upside, this could be a lot of, because you're healing the past, some of you are a little bit closer to that. This could be a brand new, yet a brand new opportunity from a source that you knew a long time ago, right? This could be a new connection coming around. Now, those of you who do need to transform, maybe you need to check your own energy. Maybe you need to check how you view others you need to work on that don't think that you're perfect not a person listening to this is perfect if that shatters your delusion go see somebody about that okay but what I don't want to have happen is for people who need to be working on everything we said in the first part of this reading to be focused on yeah 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 let's just get to this last part here where it's good where there could be someone coming from the past who's going to offer me something and you just missed everything. Listen, it's your life. If you want to keep learning those lessons over and over and over again, that's up to you. I mean, it's your path. But the card is peace, okay? And so this is describing how we can be at peace. And don't forget, your energy is affecting everybody. <laughs> and if that's something that makes you feel powerful, oof. God sees everything. That's all I'm going to say. So we're going to leave it there. Again, angelsouls444.com. If you want to work on this, you want to expand your consciousness, you want to raise your vibration, you want to be a light in this world, you want to contribute something good, let's work together. All right, I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.